What's good, everybody? It's Birdo out here again, of course. I know I've been slacking. I know, I know. The last video I posted up was what? Um, Saturday? Yeah, well, anyways, today's what? Thursday? I uh, just got out of work, um, and I'm about to do a reaction video on my first, very, very, very first jujitsu tournament. Uh, it's kind of cringy, <laughs> but about to use my phone. I have the video saved on my phone, um, so let's get right to it. Where are they? Let me find them first. There they are. All right, so we're gonna start with the very, very, very first grappling match I've ever had. So this was uh, Naga. Naga stands for uh, North American Grappling Association. That was my first tournament. Um, this is against. I don't. Of course, I don't even know this kid. In jujitsu, for the people that don't know, um, when you go to the tournament, it's not like an actual MMA fight or a boxing match or anything like that. It's, you know, you don't know who you're, fi uh, who you're fighting against. All you know is that you're competing that day and that is it, <laughs> literally. You won't find out who you're fighting. I mean, there are actually, yeah, let me rewind and say there are tournaments where you will find out the person's name and maybe they got a little screen, like a little picture, like a headshot. Um, and that's about it. If you want to get all creepy and start doing your search on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, go right ahead, do your thing, find out who you're fighting. But um, yeah, if you don't do none of that stuff, you're just going to find out who they are when they get on their mats with you. So um, yeah, this is against some kid. I, I completely forgot his name. This was what? Uh, January of 2015. Um, so Let's get right to it. Got the first matchup. And this kid, man, he was long. <laughs> lanky, lanky guy. But here we go, let's press play. Alright, so we're standing up. I had my homie Stella and Carlos there that day. So I go for the uh, Koshi, uh, is it Koshi Guruma? Yeah, Koshi Guruma. He almost took my back here. Luckily, you know, I, I worked my way um, out of the back tape. You know, my coach is telling me to take my hooks out with my hands. I'm working, working, working. Bam. <laughs> Why would I jump? See, now that I know, even though I'm just a blue belt, I'm, you know, not up there yet. Don't ever jump over someone like that. You'll lose position. Luckily, I, I didn't hear so I'm working, I'm trying to get this guy to get off my leg here. Snap the, the lock, bam, take his back, get the hooks in. Do I get the hook? Nope, not yet. <laughs> Look at that Yep, mount, man, mount. There you go. Two points. Mounts four points. There you go, got the Ezekiel choke going. He wouldn't tap. He wouldn't tap to Ezekiel choke. Ezekiel choke. Let me pause this real quick. An Ezekiel choke is when, let's say the person's neck is right here. You're gonna take your other arm, use it like a sandwich, and then if you're wearing sleeves or anything, um, like the gi top, like that thing right there. Uh, let me grab it real quick and show you. So. I'm gonna put this on, right? Oh, it's still a little wet from last night's wash, but whatever. So, to do an Ezekiel choke real quick, you're gonna take here, right? So let's say the person's head is right here. I'm holding on to their head. I'm gonna go here, right? Switch my hand in. So I go from the back of their head, switch my hand over, bam, choke them out. So you got, this hand is now at the back of their head and this hand is right under their uh, Adam's apple. And then from there you can make a fist, you can make a knife, you can be an asshole, do whatever you gotta do to choke him out. Um, so yeah, that is the Ezekiel choke. 
So let's get back to it. All right, so here I'm trying to work the arm bar. I was only a fresh white belt. I've only been training for three months before this tournament. So I'm trying to go for the arm bar, but I'm not getting him up on one shoulder. So the referee just moves us. Got to start right back in the same position. I should have had his arm. We have to start in the same position. Yeah, I should not. My boy Gary there, he was saying don't uh, sit back on his hips because he can bump you up faster. Um, you got to put your thighs run it right under the armpit so they can't get up. Or get you off, actually. Pause. <laughs> Americana, so now, real quick. Americana is when you take his arm and put it in an L shape. And let me flex real quick for y'all. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you wanna put the arm in an L shape form. Americana, you're gonna go over um, one hand, you're gonna have it up here. The other hand, you're gonna put it over and grab your own uh, wrist. It's kinda of hard for me to do unless I had someone here. But yeah, once you do that, you're gonna turn the elbow. Point straight up. So from here, go this way. Not the other way, this way. So you can keep going, going. Either you snap their, you know, the elbow, I mean the elbow, their shoulder, or they tap out, right? So let's go back to it. Yeah, my coach is telling me doing Americana. I don't know why I did that. I like just let him, I, I let him bump me up and Somehow he, I mean, somehow he definitely got me out. I don't know why I did that. Coach is telling me don't jump over. I should have never be. I shouldn't be jumping over people like that. All right, all right. He kept, you know, slapping my neck. So I'm like, all right, let's go. So what's up? I don't even know <laughs> what the heck this throw was. I just grabbed him and I wanted to put him on the floor. It's not even a move. It's just like a bear hug type thing thrown down. So he was holding my ponytail right there, if you notice. He was holding my hair and I'm like, oh, okay. The referee ain't gonna say nothing? Cool, that's cool with me. Alright, so of course we went out of bounds. The red area is out of bounds. Um, so we got to go back in the middle, same position. So, luckily I didn't get submitted there. I was tired. I was beat. Dude almost got a go-go plot on me. Check it out, watch. I'm just holding on. I shouldn't even be holding on like that. But, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Almost had the Oma Plata. Brought his leg over for the go-go plata. He was trying to get it under my neck. Nope. He had, he almost had it right there. Luckily, I turned my head. I shouldn't be holding on to him like that, man. Hey, I won though, right? <laughs> I'm like, whoo! But that was the first fight. It was all right, all right. So here's the finals. Um, the finals was against a strong ass kid right here. This kid was strong. So let's go watch it. All right. So. I grab him. I try going for an Osoto Gadi, which is this right here. You step, and then you want to kind of like trip him. Yep. And you don't want your head that far back because he's slamming me down. So that was two points for him. Every takedown, if two people are standing up and one knocks the other one down, that's two points. So then I just swept him. That's two points for me for putting him on his back. 
So it's 2-2 two, two right now. Trying to break his guard, trying to open it up, you know, work my way out of there. Because this position right here is neutral. You want to pass his legs um, or mount him, basically, and get the submission from there or just rack up points. Look at that. Man, if he was skilled, he would have put me on the floor right there. I was way, way, way too far back. Look at that. Again, I'm way too far back. Do that with someone that's experienced, they put you down real quick. Man, it's kind of hot in here. Nice. So I pass his guard and then I mount him. Coach is over here saying the mount points. When I first saw this video, I'm like, Heffrey? Who's Heffrey? But that's how Brazilians say referee. <laughs> So, I'm just right now, I was about to go for an Ezekiel choke again right there. I was just trying to, you know, make sure I kept my balance, which I did not keep right here. I, I was way too far on the left side, and he... There we go, he's sweating. That's two points. Almost was two points if you held it for three seconds. That's one thing I forgot. If you hold the position for three seconds, let's say you get a sweep... Actually, yeah, if you get a sweep, you have to hold it for three seconds. Hold the position. If you pass guard, hold that position for three seconds, and you got the points. So it's 4-4 four, four here. Tie, tie game. I think there was like a minute left. So he's telling me, bump him off of me, bump him off. We were practicing his move not too long before this uh, tournament. So he keeps lifting his arms up because he wants me to do the move that we keep doing that in class. I gotta switch my hips and bump him straight up. Go, 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 go. Nice. So then here, he almost took, he would have had points on this if I didn't get him in the guillotine. So I'm trying to squeeze, but I didn't have, um, I had to have both of his legs uh, trapped for me to squeeze. Yeah, I could have probably finished here, but it wasn't it wasn't tight at all. I was gassed out here. Everybody's over here screwed my name. What is my name? <laughs> there we go. So he's moving, he's moving. This is where I really get it tight, but he wasn't tapping. I had to bring my legs up, up higher onto his hips instead of trying to wrap it under his butt. That was the finals. I won first place that day in Nogi. It was fucking awesome. I loved it. So, um, let me see if I can find my Nogi matches. So, I only had... I had three Nogi matches. One, I can't find the video to. I don't even know if it got recorded. Um, but here's uh, the semifinals, I think it was. So, I'm trying to pass his leg. I should have had my arm under his armpit when I passed like that. I should have had the underhooks here, so he wouldn't, I mean, yeah, he, he didn't get the the takedown or anything, but I should have had, see, I, there you go, I should have keep my legs sprawled back, and my arm should be on, over his shoulders so he wouldn't take me down. Again, luckily he's a white belt, or was a white belt, hopefully he continue, you know, hopefully he never stopped his uh, jujitsu journey. Again, I shouldn't be, there you go, I should be grabbing nice and low on the pants. With the underhook on the side, on the opposite side, I'm trying to pass. It's kind of hard for me to te you know, tell you guys and show you these things because I don't have a mat here, you know? <laughs> so here we go again. I'm just wrapped up on his stomach, chest day, when I should really have my arms by his shoulders underhooking his arms so he can't uh, proceed anymore. I'm 
trying to sweep him here. Again, I wasn't even that experienced. I was only training for three months at this point. Damn, he's hot. So I had three points at this moment. I just heard my coach say so. Because I had his leg trapped, he didn't get any points yet. Uh, he had to uh, break it, you know, he had to get his leg out of there uh, to get his points. If he got me by my ribs, if he uh, if he landed by my ribs, that would be three points with the side control. If he mounted me, that's four points. Man, I was stalling. <laughs> Ref wasn't calling it, but I mean, I wasn't doing anything right here. There we go. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. So once I get that on the hook, I should be already going to his back. I should be escaping out of that hole where my arm is right there. I should squeeze my head right through and I should be out of there. What happens when you're only three months into this? Nice. I don't know how I just did that. I guess his weight was off. Damn, and I swept him. That's two points for me. So I think I'm winning 5 3 or something like that. I, I, I don't even remember the score. I just know I had three points. That's five right there for the sweep. I have no clue how many he has. I ain't been keeping track. I still don't know what the heck that lady was laughing at. <laughs> Whatever she was laughing at must have been funny, right? I don't even know how I lost balance there. He got me somehow. He couldn't come down. He he. I don't know why he didn't get his uh, points, but he didn't get his points there. Couldn't get to my, you know, he couldn't pass my guard. The farthest he could get was half guard, which is this position right here. And that's where the video cuts off because I don't know why they stopped recording. No clue. But yes, I won this match. Um, he couldn't pass my guard, he couldn't do much, so. And then the very, very final match of the day. I lost. So I got first in no gi, which is without the uniform. In the gi, which is with the uniform, I got second place. This is, uh, I, I lost. He was a really good kid. I was just way too tired. I was beat. I couldn't, even, I didn't want to go anymore. I remember I had like, what was it, four or five fights in the gi? No, sorry, I had three fights in the gi. Two in no gi. So that's five uh, matches that day. I was dead tired. Yeah, he, you, I, as you guys saw, he just took me down by whipping me across. And I was down. I was just so tired. Luckily, I could recover guard right here. Look at that, I'm moving so slow. <laughs> Brian. Brian the brown belt, shout out to you. Don't let him posture up. Yo, use your knees, man. Come on. I was so tired. Look at that. I, I couldn't even think. I was so beat. Merry go round over here. I thought I had an arm bar. No. <laughs> nope. 
Man, I was done. I was so tired. I mean, for three months of training, I did pretty good. Yeah, I took my back with ease. Well, not yet. He has to get the hooks in. I don't think I would let him get the hooks in. Thirty five seconds left to get my ass handed to me. <laughs> Protecting my neck because I do not want to get choked out. What was that? Oh man, if that was me now. This boy's getting hyped up, huh? Yeah, I tapped after the belt, kid. <laughs> but, um, yeah, those were my first fights. Uh, I wish I had um, the other one that I missed on. It was a good match. But, yeah, that was three months of training, and now I'm going to four years. I'm, all, I'm already at the four-year mark but, uh, of me training, but it'll be four years with Team Link in October. So yeah, I've been training just about four years now and a few more months and I'll be four years with my team now and I do not plan on leaving. So, if you guys like this video, just leave a, a, a like, comment, do whatever you want. Just don't touch the dislike button. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm gonna come up with a few more videos by the end of the week. Well, it's already Thursday, so the end of the week. But this weekend, I'm definitely gonna come out with a couple more videos, hopefully. Um, hopefully, I can do three. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go for two. If I can do three, that's even better. But yeah, hope you guys have a good day. I'm gonna get ready for training soon. I'm just gonna eat real quick, walk havoc, and go to training later. So I'll see you guys later. Deuces.